Hello, welcome to another episode of my talk show, Be Right's Talk Show. transmitter of how much it far it went when we tried it out. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Now let's get started. Everybody, to the new episode of Bryce Talk Show. Yes, we're back on again. And I was going to tell you all thanks for... 35 subscribers. That's right, I originally got 35 subscribers on YouTube on, I think it was Monday. I'm not exactly sure when, but I got 35 subscribers. So thanks to you all that I managed to reach that far. So... Before I get into the um, original topic of this episode, may I tell you that on on Monday, we concluded another test to see how far the um, 5 watts failsafe FM radio transmitter actually went. Now, because, well, mom and my sister went to the grocery store one time and I stayed, and when I was home I was operating on the radio, on 92.5 FM and I wanted we were going to do the drive test however mom couldn't do it when she left because she was doing her gas she was getting gas in her car however um however I do have some clips I do have some clips from what she took of her com- hum- heading back home. She was heading to Rikard. And she was headed towards Rikard. And. She was hearing me play. Um, Fury. Which is an, a techno song. And I'll show you right now in this clip. Take a look. Thank you. Okay Bryce. So we are passing Rikard now. Which is about. Three-ish miles from our house. I'm doing a video of Bryce. You want to do it? So as you can hear, it's all static right now. We're not coming in yet. Um, it's a kind of cloud. It's kind of a cloudy day out, so. interfere with the frequency a little bit. Hopefully we'll hear something other than static soon, right Haley? I was thinking we might hear your stuff now. Not yet. 
to do a different station because I don't hear anything of yours. Probably when we turn here. No, before it went further down by the park. Bryce, I can hear you now that I've pulled in the driveway. So, we, we, we noticed that it only went to the driveway, even when it was on the right station, it was still on the driveway, it still went from our house to the driveway. Now, I would think that it would be a little more further mile, because it's a transmitter. And also, my next thing is, on this transmitter, you can, um, when you plug the transmitter back in, and you hold the power button, it shows how much watts it's running. And it also shows how much megahertz you have on it. You can also change it too. So I wonder what would happen if I plug it back in and change the uh, megahertz. So what you do is, if you have your transmitter unplugged, with this is just how the failsafe transmitter goes. You just, when you plug the transmitter back in, you can hold the, hold the power button down until you plug it in. And then it'll show the watts and how much you're running, and you can change change it to one watt to five watts if you want, or something like that. So that's the next thing I might try. And we might have a take three on our test if we ever do that. Because we might want to check that out and see how far how far it actually goes. And as you knew, you heard me play a song that was from Mo from the Monster Cat label. As you know, I like to play electronic music on the radio, so that's probably why. And I'm sure you guys might remember the song. I actually used it in the video called Releasing Helium Balloons with M98 Firecrackers Attached. I used it at the end of the video. You might recognize the song at the end of that video and you might recognize it at the end of the clip I just showed you from when mom came back home from the drive test um so she took two clips one clip was her driving back home and then the second clip was her receiving my signal of me playing electronic dance music and it was actually from there so yeah so that was cool. Now that we've mentioned about our drive transmitter driving test, we're gonna discuss more on Deck Talk. Now, for those of you who know, Deck Talk's the cool speech synthesizer, and you can actually you can actually make it sing too if you want. You never know how the Deck Talk voices can sing. Yes, they can, and. You can even have more than one sing at a time. Now there's this file that I might that I will be putting in the description called Deck Talk 440. It'll be a link to Mediafire.com and you can download the zipped file and and you can extract the files and everything else. And you can use the demo and the speak.exe to do all that stuff and you can even save it as an audio file too if you want. And you can, like I said, you make it sing. My cool thing is, if I were to save an audio file of a voice from Deck Talk singing, and then on my iPhone, I would have the audio file saved somewhere like iCloud Drive or something. And then, my next idea would be to, um, would be to import the audio loop in GarageBand and have the um, drums or instruments playing while the voices sing something 
So it'd be like they're writing a little song, but... <laughs> well, I'd be the one making the song, but... It'd be kind of interesting to see how that song would turn out. Boy, it is it is so windy in Columbus. We've had like a windstorm this morning. We had like a uh, tornado warning yesterday. And we had some severe storms out in the Franklin County area yet, yet last night. So... Anyway, so, now, we got, it's pretty cool, you can actually make them sing, and you can actually do that, and, you can even do stuff like that, and, you have to extract the files, too. You also need something that can open EN files, because most of the files in that zipped file are EN files, which... When I first started, um, when I first downloaded that zip file, I'm like, what's EN? Like, I tried to open it up. So I downloaded some file openers and stuff. I don't really think they're that useful, but whatever. And so, yeah. Basically, that's how cool it works. And... You go on, you also know, and they can, the cool thing, like I said, about them is making them sing in different, in different sounds, and you can all have them sing in the same, although, I really, I, um, I don't know how to make them do that, but I know that people do it all the time, and they sound cool, though. And I still have the zipped file on my computer, but again, I'll make sure to link the uh, zipped file link in the description so you can download this uh, cool little guy and try to try to use it at least. Um, you'll see it's uh, programmed by Blake Roberts. There's a little also there's a how to set up. You know, there's a like. I guess he programmed a little word file that talks about the the uh, program and everything. So yeah, really, you know, quite cool. And uh, so yeah, I think that it's kind of cool. Although really, with screen readers, um, it really uh, stinks with it because it doesn't really say much of anything. Not even any ones like NVDA or JAWS or something like that. And it doesn't even say anything. It doesn't even say anything because it doesn't... It really doesn't say nothing much besides, you know, when you enter your um, text. So what I would have to do is turn on narrator and uh, put uh, on click... Uh, type shift and space to put it on scan and then I have to go from there because the rest of it don't work although when you p click the menu to like save audio file and rest of that stuff that'll work with any screen reading device I mean screen reading software and it'll work with that just as good however doing the rest of the stuff like like um saving trying to do a speeding rate and play the speech. Now, what I had to do is turn on the narrator and go control space until it says scan because, you know, the rest of them don't really say much of anything. I don't know why that is. I don't even know. I wish I would know. But, all I know is that it would not work with most of them but for all the rest of you out there you guys could use it pretty well and you probably never heard of a good voice that would actually sing on a computer like uh, voice singing and everything I mean they can still talk like you know they also talk but you can also make them cool by singing and singing different things and stuff like that now that's that, my folks, is awesome. So, 
That, my folks, is... That, my folks, is really awesome. Because they sound really cool. There's one video where it showed them singing White like, Christmas, which was kind of cool. Because it's a really good Christmas song. So, yeah. It was actually, you know, like robots singing. So, yeah. You might want to check that out if you're really interested in that. Because that really seems really cool. Anyway, yeah, that's all for that subject. We all know. Now, as for the transmitter, though, that, at least that you can still pick up from our house, though, but it didn't really go too good. Like, it only picks up through the driveway, through the yard, and everything else. But, yeah, if you watch the video clip that I just put, showed you, you'll see that. Just think if you had the transmitter transmit in a windy day like this, especially on a short range transmitter, it'll probably not even be able to, probably won't even reach the driveway, if I had to say, because of all that wind's blowing everywhere and going crazy. But basically, that's how far it was going. So, yeah. And, well. And, well. And also. Did you guys get to see the new Monster Cat Uncaged Volume 4 that came out on March 1st? Yeah, that's the, there's a song, there's an album called Monster Cat Uncaged that came out like that long. So, I hope you guys check it out, it's on iTunes, but I'm gonna get into too much to that, really. So... And thanks, like I said, for 35 subscribers. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys are awesome. And that's the truth. Why is Alex talking like that? Anyway, I mean, just see if you could make an iPhone thing. I mean, that'd be cool. But without further ado. I hope that you always, that you enjoyed the video, and make sure that you make sure if you like it, then click on the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. I hope you enjoy it, and don't forget to download the link, click on download on the link in the description for the um, Deck Talk 440 file that's in Mediafire right now. Um... I recently downloaded that somewhere else, but then I put it on Mediafire. I don't know what else I downloaded it, but...